Hello everyone. My name is Quân Nguyễn. I am a research fellow at uh, Queensland Micro and Nanotechnology Centre, Griffith University, Australia. Please allow me to share my slides. So today I will be presenting our work on rapid fabrication of high responsivity photodetectors utilizing our GAN on supply as a part of IEEE Center Conference 2021. So my presentations contain include first introduction and fabrication and experimental setup. Next is performance of the sensor and finally sensing principle. Now let me start the first content. Sensor for smart city. A smart city is a declaration given to a city that incorporates information and communication technology to enhance the quality and performance of urban services such as energy, transportation and utilize uh, in order to reduce resource consumption watches and uh, overall scores. The overarching uh, aim of a smart city is to enhance the quality of living for its citizens for through smart technology. Our project focusing on developing sensors for various applications under harsh environment such as high temperature, pressure or corrosive media. For that purpose, uh, government HI arrives at the most suitable candidates. So in the next slides, we will discuss in detail about government HI property. Government HI is a semiconductor material that is quite new compared to conventional materials such as silicon or silicon carbide. Government HI possesses several superior properties including wide band gap, which is 3.4 EV due to its Band gap, gamma nitride based device has high temperature operation, net radiation damage, and higher breakdown voltage. One unique feature of three nitride heterostructure is uh, two dimensional electron gas that make gamma nitride a great candidate for future electronic sensors. This slide will give briefly discussion about two dimensional electron gas or 2DZ to that. Consider a heterostructure of argon gan on silicon substrate. The residual stress due to lattice mismatch between uh, layer um, generate um, polarization. This polarization uh, will create an electron gas here on the interface, so called two-dimensional electron gas or two deck. This two deck has been widely utilized for transistor or switch. However, the application for sensing is very limited. Several research show that two deck sensitive is very sensitive to stress, pressure, magnetic field, uh, light photo innovation or even chemical on surface layer, layer. So, in this work, we will develop a photo detector utilizing two deck. The fabrication process of our GAN GAN heterostructure based photo detector start with growing a four micro uh, thick GAN layer on 400 micro thick sapphire substrate using MOCVD technique. Subsequently, a 10 nanometer thick algan was deposited on GAN film to achieve the two deck at the algan GAN heterosh interface. So to form the metal electrode, a three layer of metal, including titanium, uh, gold and nickel was deposited uh, by sputtering followed by a rapid thermal alleling in nitrogen ambient at 800 degrees for 30 seconds. For um, characterization of the device under light illumination, a UV lamp was used uh, as a UV illumination source. And uh, furthermore, 
405 nanometer, 521 nanometer, and 637 nanometer laser was employed to measure the photoresponse under visible uh, irradiation. Figure 3A show a cross-section diagram of the proposed photodetector. Uh, in the figure B, we have the Raman spectral um, analysis to investigate the material and structural property of the organ-gan heterostructure. As observed, the big at uh, three uh, five sixty-eight centimeter uh, correspond to the mode of gamma nitride, and the big at uh, seven seventy-six uh, attribute to the A one no mode, which depends on the correlation between uh, aluminum composition in algan gan. Uh, um, and the fall and frequency. Uh, on figure C, the IV characteristic of the asphalticated uh, algangan photodetector are shown. The linear IV relationship demonstrate that the deposited metal form excellent uh, contact between the metal and algan surface. Furthermore, uh, similar IV behavior and almost zero current at zero bias voltage, indicating that the device is functioning in photoconductive mode. Figure 3D shows the change in response of the photodetector under light on and off condition. The result demonstrates that the device achieves stable and repeatable photoresponse at different illumination. Uh, on the next slide, we will discuss about the photoresponse of the proposed algan gan structure. Figure 4a shows the photo current of the detector under different innovation conditions at 5 volts. The result demonstrates that the uh, photo current increased with the increase of illumination intensity uh, due to the generation of more photo carrier at the higher intensity. Figure 4b shows the spectral response of the heterostructure under illumination of 3.3 times 10 to the power minus 6 watt per centimeter square at 5 volt. The device shows a maximum responsivity of 324 uh, ampere per watt at 365 nanometer illumination because of the energy of incident photon close to the energy band gap at algan and GAN. Hence, a large number of electron hole pair will be generated in the structure. Consequently, the electron hole pair will be separated by the built-in potential and electron will be accumulated at the quantum well. Thus, the two deck density will increase significantly under 365 nanometer illuminations. The responsivity of the detector as a function of bias voltage will, is shown in figure 4D, illustrating that the responsivity increased almost linearly with the increasing bias voltage. Uh, next, we will discuss about the sensing principle of the UV photodetector. The inside of the photocarrier generation mechanism in the proposed algan gan heterostructure can be explained via uh, energy band analysis. Yeah. Uh, the observed photocurrent in the proposed algan gan detector attribute to the contribution from two possible phenomena. First, <coughs> under the illumination, if energy of the light higher than uh, band gap of algan and gan, a very small portion of incident uh, photon will absorb in algan layer, and the remaining photon will be absorbed will be absorbed in the algan layer due to very thin air, and remaining photon will be absorbed in the algan heterojunction and gan layer. <coughs> Consequently, electron hole pair will be generated in the structure. 
owing to the vertically oriented electric field um, and the generated electron in our gun gun will move forward toward the quantum well. The, uh, the electron hole generated at the our gun gun interface will be separate, separated by the last built-in potential associate with uh, energy band bending. Consequently, electron and hole will be accumulated in the quantum well uh, here and here. Um, and energetic barrier in the valence band respectively. Moreover, the accumulated uh, hole at the energetic barrier will result from the valence band offset between our GAN and GAN. We need to bending the uh, energy band for electron in two decks, as shown in figure 4C, um, resulting in enhancing the escaping property of electron in the quantum well and enter to the conduction band and eventually well the connected at the external contact. <clears throat> so in this work, we successfully develop high responsivity photodetector. Ongoing work is being performed to optimize the geometry to improve the performance of the device. And this uh, photodetector can be um, used for many applications such as sun detector. We can detect sunbeam angle or illumination intensity. This is uh, essential for satellite or aerospace uh, applications. So thank you very much for the attention. If you have any question, ideas, or there is something to discuss, please contact me through email. Quân Đoàn Nguyễn at Griffith.edu.au